Yeah, how you doing, Pat? Not too bad, thank you. We're going to start off with David Anderson from the Daily Mirror, and then we'll go on from there. Yeah. So, David, whenever you're ready. Hey, Huey, you okay? Yeah, good, thank you. Oh, good. Huey, just look at this fight. You know, walk up. Do you see him as a, you know, a, a good opponent for you? Bear in mind the experience he's got, the people he's been in, Huey, as you build towards another world title fight. Yeah, Wack's a very tough opponent. You can't underestimate Wack. He's, uh, he's coming, he's a big unit. But uh, like I say to you, we've paired well and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Do you feel as if, if, if you get Wack out of the way that you'd be ready to go? You know, you'd be just straight ready for another world title fight, Huey, or do you feel you need another fight or two, or, or how do you feel about that? No, listen, 100%. People will see after they get whack out of the way where I belong and what level that I'm going to be at. And um, I say I'm ready for the fights. People's going to see a big major difference. How have you been, really? Because obviously you haven't been out since March, obviously because of the pandemic, really. Has it, has it been a tough time for you? Or have you just been like uh, in the gym all the time, sort of ticking over? Yeah, I've just been working on uh, a lot of things, just in the gym constantly, really. Uh, but everything's uh, good, feel good, and uh, just can't wait to get back in the ring. It's been a while. Yeah. Obviously, fights been cancelled and stuff. It's not been as good, but uh, I've obviously wanted to get out a lot sooner. But now it's time and uh, time to shine. Have you been able to sort of manage that sort of frustration, Huey? You haven't got sort of too worked up about it, be able to sort of know you would eventually get back out again, even though you've had to wait and be patient? Yeah, hundred percent. I just put more as just more time in, more better for me, really. Just more, just to work on my game and learn more, and uh, yeah, improve. Yeah, is there anything specifically that you've worked on, Huey? Or anything tactically you can tell us about? Or I say everything. We've worked on everything. So it's like I say, people, it's going to be a completely different me again. So I'm just looking forward to uh, getting in there and uh, show people what I can do. Yeah, Huey, I'd just like to ask you about your thoughts on. Uh, Pulev as well, you know, you've obviously been in there, you fought him in Sofia that time, I was very lucky, you had the cut above the left eye, which had suffered in training really, but what's your take on him and do you think, can he beat Joshua, or how do you see that going then? Um, like I say, you can't underestimate Pulev, he's got a good jab, but uh, like you say, when I was in the fight, I felt kind of comfortable in there, but obviously from the uh, second round, I got the cut over the eye. Yeah, the eye. And... Uh, literally opened back up so it went over the face of the referee come in and said basically they're going to stop the fight uh, with it being so bad uh, and I had to go like, out like a maniac in the third round and gas myself out um, I think Pulev is most more vulnerable in the later stages that's what he's getting on isn't he so uh, I, I wobbled him in I think in the seventh or the eighth round and I think that's when he was more but I just didn't have the energy or the supposure to get him out there because obviously he gassed myself out from the early on. So, um, yeah, it was uh, with uh, Pulev, he's dangerous behind his jab. I think uh, the more late the fight, I favour Joshua. Yeah. As you say, it's a hard one to compare your fight, uh, take too much from it, as you say, because of the cut over the eye, man, it wasn't really how the fight didn't go, certainly how you'd wanted it to go, as you say, you no, trying to not to come out in the third time, round. So, yeah, exactly. Listen, after the third round, then it's just uh, had nothing left in the tank. You emptied it out, thinking the fight's going to get stopped, and then you go in twelve rounds, completely energy, uh, no energy at all, just uh, basically uh, trying to get through. Yeah, and as you say, you sort of fear that, or you feel that maybe sort of Josh with him being thirty nine, maybe the later rounds could be sort of Josh's time really in the fight, Huey. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I say, age catches up with you. Great, Huey. Good luck on Saturday, and thank you. Hey, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks, David. If you go to Danny Flexum from Seconds Out next, please. Hey, Huey, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Good, mate. Um, wanted to ask you, first of all, your dad, I interviewed him last week, but he's been saying it for a while now that we're going to see a completely new Huey Fury on Saturday night. What what sort of things should we expect? And, and how long have you guys been working together on adapting your style? Like I say, it's, it's not with adapting. It's more like... Uh, as the more old I'm getting, the more mature I'm getting. It's um, people that I'm saying, I'm only still 26. I started in this uh, game young, so my body's still filling out. Um, but to uh, you just got to tune in on uh, Saturday and find out. But trust me, uh, people's in for a shock. Another thing I spoke to your dad about was that 
we, we saw Daniel Dubois recently losing to Joe Joyce. And a lot of people said after the fight, at least, that it had come too soon for him. You're only 26 years old and you've had a wealth of experience. You've fought some top fighters. You've got abroad to fight. Do you think that stands you in good stead now? Although you've taken some defeats, you've got that huge amount of experience no one else your age has. Yeah, 100%. Like I say, I've been in with everyone. I've never ducked an opponent. But uh, yeah, all them fights said, he put you in good learning fights and it puts you to where I am today. So without them fights, won't be where I am today, no. Brilliant. Thanks, you, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Danny. If we go to Matt from Behind the Gloves next, please. Hi, Eddie. Are you all right? I do, Val. Uh, you've mentioned previously that you believe you belong at world level and you say you're going to do a job on Marius Wack. Does that mean that you're going to be looking to force the stoppage in this fight or is it just a case of a, a win's a win, no matter how it comes? Like I say, you're going to have to wait and find out, but uh, trust me, the world's going to be shocked and uh, uh, it will show you that I am at world level come Saturday. You've been in with the likes of Pulev and Povetkin before at a very young age. What have you taken away from them experiences, even though obviously they were in defeat? What have you taken away from that that will ensure that obviously you're improved for when you come again? I say you take everything. You look back at them fights and you take all the all the little things out. But since then and now, I've obviously more matured uh, as, a, as a man um, in every aspect. So... People's going to see a different body shape wise and everything from back then. So, like I say, I just can't wait now just to get back in the ring and just uh, show the people what I can do. And finally, Mary Swax, a durable opponent. Dillian White found that out when he went against him. Um, providing you get past um, Wack on Saturday night, who are you looking for next to help you propel you back to challenging for world honours? I can say it's never bothered me with a fight. The main thing is getting back to the top. All right, cheers and good luck for Saturday, Hugh. Thank you very much, Pat. Thanks, Matt. If you go to Nate Williams next, please. Hi, Huey. Good to see you back on a, a big card again, um, which leads me to my question, really. like you, You've been on the undercard of these big events for such a long time now. What do you think you have to do to get a main event fight? Do you have to become a bit of a talker or do you have to show it with boxing skill? It's more with the uh, the fights. Obviously, like I say, I've come short with a few uh, of the fights. And uh, I say, now people's going to see a completely different you if you come the fight night. Uh, we've changed a lot of things. And uh, it's just an improvement. As age, uh, it's, uh, my time is now, as people will see. And, and, just, and just finally from me, is that, have you had any kind of conversation with Tyson at all? Or, or are you just leaving this week to yourself? I say just uh, relax, just focus on the fight. Thank you, Huey. Thank you. Thanks, Nate. If you go to Jonathan next, please. Hey, Huey. John here from Pro Boxing Fans. You all right? Yeah, I'll do both. Thank you. Good, good. Um, you've spoken a lot about sort of the improvements you make and what we're going to see. Do you think we saw a bit of a glimpse of that in your last fight in March? A uh, little bit, but uh, not near enough. But uh, obviously... Uh, people like I say Mary Swack is a very durable opponent and uh, hopefully we get a good few rounds out yeah I wanted to know what what made you come to the decision of of facing Mary Swack and was he the only option yeah this was the only option at the time there was other opponents but they uh, fell through so yeah Mary Swack was the only option um, what's the sort of feeling in the gym like at the moment with obviously Savannah picking up the world title it must be a feel-good factor for you heading into this fight. Yeah, 100%. Listen, Savannah's, uh, me and Savannah's very good friends. And, uh, yeah, it's very good uh, that she won the world title uh, over the main four. And, uh, yeah, she'll be here at the fight as well. So, uh, another win for the uh, gym would be good. Just finally, where does a victory over Marius uh, Watt put you? Having You've competed at the world level, you are past British level. Where, where exactly would it put you, do you think? I say all. I'm not really thought about that. All I think about is just getting Marius Wack out of the way and then on to the next. It doesn't bother me who it is. Main thing is climbing back up the ladder and getting to the top. Cheers. Best of luck. No problem. Thank you, pal. Thanks, Jonathan. If you go to Jeremy Herridge's next, please. Hi, Huey. Uh, you talked a little bit about uh, learning from from the losses. 
looking at all three put together, did you notice any patterns um, within your performances? Yeah, listen, there's, there's a lot to, to me gain, uh, to what I've uh, added me fights, like the switching up, the uh, stuff like this. And uh, come this fight, people see, obviously, you know, last time I was out, uh, people never got to see enough of it. Uh, but Marius Wacky is a durable opponent, and people's going to see a big major difference from the last fights to this one. Looking at, at Tyson and, and his battle against Deontay Wilder and how he kind of changed his, his strategy and coming forward as a bruiser, um, did you find that inspiring? Did that teach you anything? Um, like I said, yeah, Tyson's a very, uh, very talented fighter. The way he came with Deontay Wilder, it's just it's all about styles, make fights. With different fighters, you've got to do different things. Uh, final question for me. Obviously, you come from a, a family that's very famous, a boxing family. Do you feel any pressure uh, or from the expectations of, of being a Fury? Or have you been in this game long enough to, to where that's no longer a bother? It doesn't bother me. At the end of the day, we're fighting, man. So we do what we're born to do is fight. Sounds good. Thank you, Huey, and best of luck. No problem. Thank you very much, Bart. Thanks, Jeremy. If you go to Andy from Boxing Social next, please. Hi, oh, Huey. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just for one from me. Um, obviously, we know Marius is a durable opponent. And back in December, we saw him go to points with Dillian White. You've spoken about and your dad's spoken about kind of he wants to see you put your shots together a bit more and show your power off a bit more. Do you feel like you, you need to make a statement against Marius just to kind of show people that you have that power to compete at the, the top level of the heavyweights? Yeah, 100%. I believe I can't make a statement. And um, I just, I'm just i just going to go in there and do what I do. And believe me, I'll make a statement. Perfect. Thank you, Huey. No problem. Okay, if we go to Donor Corby next, please. Hey, Huey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm not too bad, pal. Uh, you, you've kind of been asked a similar question to this before, but considering the year that it has been for the Fury family, of course, Tommy recently got that incredible knockout, maybe the knockout of the year. Tyson, of course, would maybe be the performance of the year. Do you feel like you've got to, to make a statement now and sort of uh, and put your, do you feel the pressure to, to put your name amongst them and maybe have like a fight of the year candidate or a knockout of the year candidate? I say there's no pressure here. We're fighting men, so it's in our blood. So I'm just looking forward to the fight. Do you reckon Tyson's going to show up this weekend or no? I'm not too sure. It would be exciting for you, though, right, if he got to, to be there for, for your fight? Yeah, no, it would be good. Uh, talk to me about the, the size of this event. Obviously, the first time with fans back in an arena during this, this, this crazy COVID-19 time. Does, does it mean a lot to you to be involved in, in such a, a monumental event for, for British boxing and really world boxing? Yeah, 100%. It uh, definitely means a lot to be back in the first uh, event with being a crowd. So... Uh, I say I'm looking forward to it, and it is, uh, especially what's happened, coming back in the big show. It's going to be a great show. How have you found your, your work throughout, throughout lockdown? Has it been uh, a great deal different, or, or talk to me a bit about that? Um, like I say, it's just put the head down, training. So pretty much the same thing I do all the time, but just more strict to a training. Is, is there going to be anyone traveling to see you, or is that a bit difficult with the, the different tiers and everything uh, in terms of uh, fans? Like I say to you, is, um, I'm not too sure with all the fans and stuff. I'm just concentrating on the fight, and that's uh, the main thing. Congratulations. Right, thank you very much, and, and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thanks for everyone's questions. Huey, we'll let you get off, but we really appreciate your time, and we'll see you in a bubble later this week. Yeah, that'll do, sir. Take care. Cheers. Okay, next up, we are bringing in Huey's opponent, Marius Wack. Uh, 